President Trump appearing to take a lighthearted tone about election meddling with Russian President Vladimir Putin at the G20 summit in Japan. I'm joined by Benjamin Hall, a Fox News foreign affairs correspondent, usually in London, but here with us, which is wonderful. Uh, the, the G20, it's a big meeting, high stakes. The Russia piece, you knew that the press was going to ask it, and the president, well, maybe this is like, this could take this moment to make fun of it. Yeah, look, what's amazing is that the Trump-Putin meeting is actually the undercard at the G20. You know, last year in Helsinki, it was the mm. most talked about uh, summit that we had that year, but it really takes sure. second place this year. Look, I think President Trump was definitely put on the spot there. Um, and some people... Knew he would be, though. Yes, yeah, some people accusing him of uh, making light of the situation. But you can't make light of, the, of how President Trump has reacted to Russia, imposing new sanctions, kicking out diplomats last year following the... Well, in fact, case. Um, the Europeans are the ones who just this week reinstated Russia's voting abilities in the EU, whatever that thing is. I mean, America's been tougher... Uh, on Russia than the EU has been. Absolutely they have. And I think that what we saw there from President Trump is not the same kind of, uh, the same message he'll be passing across behind closed doors. Right. And he did say to journalists before he left the White House on Wednesday, uh, it's none of your business what we talk about, mm -hmm. but he was going to be hard on him. So you said this is the undercard, but the, the big hot meeting that everyone's waiting for is happening at 10.30 p.m. tonight, and it is the China-USA meeting. President Trump saying this about his meeting with President Xi. Take a listen. President, do you expect that uh, President Xi is going to put an offer on the table tomorrow? We'll see what happens. It's going to come out hopefully well for both countries, and ultimately it will work out. Have you promised China that you'll, you won't put any more new tariffs on? For no, I haven't promised. No. Good question. No. Good question indeed, and President Xi actually saying this. All this is destroying the global trade order. This also impacts common interests of our countries, overshadows the peace and stability worldwide. Of course, I picked up on two words there. One, the global trade order, the problem is not really the United States, but China, so number one. Number two, the other thing is stability. China wants stability more than anything, and this president, not really into that. There are a lot of issues at play here. Of course, we have the trade deficit. We have the need to... Uh, to reduce tariffs, but it is China who stands to lose the most if they don't. People are hoping to see some kind of a 90-day truce following this, but there's no idea yet if there will be some kind of a longer-term trade deal. Larry Kudlow saying yesterday that there were no preconditions going into this meeting. But not only do you have the trade issues, you also have the intellectual property rights. That is something which is going to be a lot harder to come up with some kind of a solution for. And then on the side, you have a lot of other issues which China are now involved with. North Korea, of course, and you had President Xi visit visiting Kim Jong-un just mm -hmm. last week. You have Iran. It is China who has most to lose mm -hmm. for the spike in oil prices through the Straits of Hormuz. So suddenly we're seeing Do all these global issues Do you have any sense on whether the Europeans together. will back President Trump on this meeting with China? Or about Iran? I think that when it comes to Iran, they are backing the JCPOA in on paper alone, I think that their companies aren't doing business with Iran. They have a choice of doing business with American companies and being part of the American banking system yeah. or doing a deal and working with Iran. So they are saying that they're trying to stick with the JCPOA, but they're yeah, not but if it able comes, to. If you have to make a choice between working, uh, working well, it, with Iran or working with the United States. There's no choice. That's an obvious one. Benjamin Hall, great to see you here Thanks, in the United man. States. You too.